All right, sure. Uh, Link's uh, stressing me out again. Twin's stressing me out. Uh, Link's tied at 84 here with under 40 seconds left. And Seattle has the ball. And Seattle scores. That's not good. Yeah, there's a timeout, so let's go back and see what Taylor Rogers is doing to uh, screw uh, the Twins out of the division title even further. I mean, fuck, man. Yeah, this will be a double video, I guess. Taylor Rogers. I, I'm beyond words with this guy at this point. I fuck. I fucking hate this guy. Twins are. The Twins got a gift tonight. Cleveland came back, beat Chicago on a walk-off in extra innings. And we're going to lose to Detroit again because Taylor Rogers is a piece of shit, and he keeps getting... I can understand you... Eventually, he's probably going to have to pitch anyway, but... This is, this is going to be like, what, at least the fourth or fifth game that Taylor Rogers has single-handedly lost for us. Oh, crap. Let's go back to the Lynx game. <laughs> All right. Lynx ball. Here we go. And we got foul. There was a foul by Clark. And they had a foul to give no more, so... Very stressful evening. Ooh. <laughs> Nafisa. Ooh, all right, tie game 86, all 14 seconds left. It's going to get very nervous here. Let's go back to the Twins. And it's commercial, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can check my little thing here. Oh, that's cool. yeah, okay. no, uh, no updates on any further score, so maybe that piece of shit closer of ours got out of it without any further damage. That was good defending by Seattle. You're right. It was just a better move by Collier. We're tied up now with just under 15 seconds to go. Maybe we'll go OT. I don't know. Well, Seattle has a lot of good options. I mean, right we got to hope for OT in this game because Seattle has the ball. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, Seattle's really fucking good, man. They, like any little mistake the Lynx make, Seattle pounces. And here we go. Oh. Fuck. I'm pretty sure Seattle just won. We'll see on the replay if they got it off in time. I can't tell. Can't tell from that. And... Oh, fuck. She got it off with like. Damn, that's game one. Game one to Seattle. She got it off with like 2.2 wow. 2 seconds left. They pounce on everything, man. They miss, they miss the first shot. Links don't get the rebound, and they are, they're able to get the, that final shot up. Uh, 
well, maybe the twins can still pull this out. You, know. you always hate the fucking uh, runner on second rule when you're pitching, but now they're hitting. Um, yeah, we'll keep it going on this. What the hell? Um, fuck, man. I mean, Lynx, Lynx gave them all they could handle. I'll say this, the Lynx played better in this than they played in the two uh, regular season matches, which were kind of competitive, but not uh, really. And uh, there we go. Rosario, Rosario ties it up. All right. All right. Good job, Rosario. Mm. See, now I like now I like the uh, runner on second rule. <laughs> uh, the Twins are in such a great position to maybe not have to face the Yankees because the Twins finish with counting this game five at home against Detroit and then Cincinnati and the White Sox are playing Cleveland the White Sox have to face the Indians two best pitchers the next two nights and I don't know who Chicago plays over the weekend but the, if the Twins win out they have a really really good chance to win the division still um it's going to be brutal if they don't because if they don't, they got to play the Yankees. And if they don't, they're going to have so many of these fucking games that they kicked away to Detroit and Kansas City to look back on. And also to a bunch of games that Taylor Rogers fucked up. I hate Taylor Rogers so much. I think I might hate Taylor Rogers more than I hate Gary Kubiak. And that's really saying something right now because... I could say something really, really fucking mean right now about Gary Kubak, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna I don't wanna go down that road. Oh man. So let's see, we got snow up now. Uh, oh shit. I thought he walked that off. Okay. He hit it up to the frickin' Budweiser roof deck. No owes us one because he cost us one of the runs tonight. By um, he dropped a, a throw from Duffy that would have ended an inning. Instead, he drops the ball and a run scores. So. It is tense. It is tense. We better get this one because that, that Lynx one fucking hurt. I still think Lynx can maybe steal a game, but man, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough now because now you gotta beat. I mean, Seattle's the best team. They weren't the number one seed, but they're the best team. And you gotta beat them three out of four now. You know, I mean, it's, I didn't think they would win the series, but when when you have a chance to win the game one as an underdog like that, and you and it doesn't come out your way, that's really can really be deflating. But we'll give them a shot. They'll still, they guess they got a shot. And the Twins have a shot right now to get to within a half a game. But then Snow strikes out. I'm not even doing this video past the 10th inning because this could go all night. I don't know who's up. Garver's up, I think. That's his theme song. Ooh, Garver sauce. Come on. It's maddening that they struggle to score runs against Detroit like this. I mean, at least they got four. It's like, fuck. Detroit has got one of the worst pitching staffs in baseball, and the Twins have been struggling to score runs on them 
the whole fucking season, every time they played. And that's why they came in only 5-5. Five and five. I guess, I think 5-5. Five and five. Maybe 3-3, three three. I don't know. But something like that. They've, I think, I know they were only 500 against them. But it's pissing me off. Because if you beat, if you just take care of business against the Royals and the Tigers, the Twins would already be in first place. They'd probably have an, even a lead of a couple games. But no, we can't do that. We gotta dink around and lose a bunch of those games. Frustrating. Yeah, that's adorable. Uh, Morneau still thinks this lineup is going to be like what they were last year. No. Uh, Garver strikes out, Rosario steals second, so... Not sure what's going to happen now, but probably nothing good. Kepler's up. And they're pitching to him with an open base, which is very surprising. That's that's an interesting decision, and hopefully we make them pay for it. Kepler is the one who tied it. He's the reason we're even still playing. Kepler's kind of heated up uh, last few games. Oh, he got the robe. I didn't notice that before. He got the robe. I want one of those robes. That's the, that, could, that could definitely be a good uh, a good meme. Robes for everyone if they can win this year. Oh! Oh! Oh, Kepler! Kepler! <laughs> Robes for everybody. Just a perfect, perfect little blooper. And he gets the robe. <laughs> I love the robe thing. The Nelson Cruz robe. Oh, I love that. a game back of the White Sox. Technically it's a game and a half because they don't have the tiebreaker but you know there's a, there's, I mean, there's a pretty decent shot that Cleveland's going to be able to win those next two games. Twins handle their business. If they, you know, Twins win out I think they got a real shot. So I think if the Twins win out um we need the White Sox to lose two more. I think that's right. The White Sox do have one extra game because they had played Thursday and the Twins don't. So, the race is on, people. <laughs> 